Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. Um, just a quick one again today. I'm installing Vault Professional 2023 server, so the ADMS Source Test Data Management server. Um, and just a top tip, really, this is something that we see all the time when it comes to um, installing the Vault server, that it's telling you that a reboot is, uh, is pending. Now, there's two times that this can come up. Number one, a reboot is actually pending because you've recently done um, an installed or an update or a Windows update, something like that, and therefore the server could do with a reboot. Um, but sometimes it just seems to get stuck in the loop. Um, and you can actually get around that really easily just by going into the registry. So um, if that wasn't clear, if you've done something on the machine or you've not been on that server for a while, reboot it. It will be generally asking you for a reboot. But if this pops up after you've rebooted and you seem to be stuck in that loop, which, uh, which can happen with the Vault install sometimes, um, head into your registry editor, back it up first, um, but go into your registry editor um, make sure you, you do a backup first of all and export that data out. And then what you're going to do is browse to um, HKey local machine. You're going to go into system uh, and then into current control set, followed by control. And then once you're in there, you want to find session manager towards the bottom of the list. It's all alphabetical. So go and find session manager, single click on the folder, and you should find a key in here. Pending file rename operations. OK, and if this is showing you um, a, a value in there, it's basically showing you what is pending in this case. Um, so if you right click again, make sure you back up your registry first and only do this if you have previously just restarted your machine. Do a right click and delete on that key. Close the registry. And then if we retest test our uh, vault pre uh, pre system installation test, uh, or pre-checks, we can see that we no longer have the action required against the pending reboot, and we can continue to install the Vault server. This isn't a new Vault 2023 issue, but it's been around for a long time. Generally, a reboot will clear it, but if you find it doesn't, that little top tip within the registry will fix that for you. I hope that's been useful. Enjoy the 2023 releases. They're certainly uh, looking a really nice release so far. Um, be good to hear your feedback. Catch you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.